Dobrý den. If I told you that the Czech language, which I will teach you in this video and other videos, is of Indo-European language family, of the Balto-Slavic branch, the Slavic, the West Slavic, and the Czech-Slovak underbranch, I don't believe it would, it would help you much in improving in this language. Because when you make acquaintance with a new language, I believe you are interested first in its alphabet and more precisely in the sounds which correspond to its graphic signs. Because this is precisely the building blocks which will help you to express yourself correctly, to be understood and to be able, while listening, to understand the Czech language. Since I'm honored to teach you Czech, I will introduce you to the alphabet. A B C C D D E J F G H H This is a, an alien H I J K L M N N O P K V R another alien S S S T T the surprise is over U U V Dvojité V, X, Y, Z, Z. So, three aliens? Barely. When you pronounce the Czech alphabet, and which will arrive right now, and when you will speak Czech, which will be very soon, Please keep your face relaxed. Our facial tonus is slack in comparison to, for example, French. A, I, I, U. And it's, I believe, in my humble opinion, it's even a little bit more relaxed than when you speak English. And mind, the Czech does not have the schwa sound. We can proceed with the Latin terms for diacritics because the Czech alphabet is a diacritical system. Čárka, virgula, this is the acute accent which will elongate walls. Then there is kroužek, Anulus over the U only. Then Hacek, known as Karen, Hacek, Wedge, inverted circumflex, or the French name it as an inverted Chinese hat. And there is the, la the last one is tečka, which is a simple punctus rotundus over the i. The aliens in Czech alphabet are ch, ch sound, which is the digraph, the only one we have, and the official diphthong o. O. There are two other diphthongs which are um, very recent and they are au, 
for example, in the verb auto, a car, or eu, euro, euro. The most important and perhaps a little bit off-putting alien in Czech language is er, adorned with the inverted circumflex, which is pronounced er, r. It represents the raised alveolar non-sonorant trail which will not help you very much either. But it's a sound between the R and the Z. RZ. But not exactly RZ, it's RZ. This is a unique sound which occurs only in Czech language. So I have read whether it is true or not. I, and that's it. The first lesson is over. Czech is a great fun. So comment, react, criticize, let me know what you think. And brzy naschledanou.